are you doing today? I thought we would do another get ready with me while I'm just sitting here on the living room floor. And this isn't especially themed towards anything. I'm just going to an audition. So another day that I was planning to do a bunch of editing and I have to drive to Los Angeles. But these are good problems, right? I know a lot of actor friends who don't get auditions. So I am very blessed, very fortunate. Uh, same box of makeup because I've only got what I've got and uh, by the way I do love this box I got it last year at Ulta uh, and it really is nice when I have to uh, I, I have no natural light in the bathroom so it, it just I'm not gonna give you a good video if I do it in there so I've got natural light here and walk and talk Monique okay and I've got my usual glamorous youtuber outfit on of the sweater that I'm going to be wearing to the audition, but not the high heels and skirt that I will be wearing to the audition. Got my jam bottoms on. So, the part that I am going up for today, I know really nothing about it. It's for a print campaign. I don't know the company. I don't know any of that. All I know is that I'm supposed to look Scandinavian. So, I will... Uh, Go in there and be a blue-eyed blonde. Again, Arctic blonde. I'm only going to be here editing for a few more days and then I will be headed back home with the kitties because I have an acting job and I will need to be home in LA for my acting job, so yay me! Uh, I'll tell you about it when, um, you know, when it's getting closer to air, when I've actually done the job. I don't like to tell people about it until I do the job because what if it goes away? Because things happen. Uh, my foundation today is Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet in number 20 beige. Picked this up last year. It is oddly not a favorite. I really thought it would be. I mean, it's Chanel. But I don't know, it just, I guess I'm just used to theatrical makeup. It doesn't speak to me. It seems a little dry, uh, but I'm going with it today because I think it's a little paler than what I have in my IT Cosmetics. Plus, I just wanna do something different because we did the IT Cosmetics a couple days ago and it's good to change it up now and then. Not changing up my brush, still going with my Sigma Soft Concealer Brush which has become my favorite. I like it because I can do, I used to want to get my foundation on as fast as I could, and now I realize you get a much better look if you take a hell of a long time to put your foundation on. It just seems to go on better if you put it on really thin, really light. I know it looks like it's not thin and light, We start on the nose because that's like my reddish spot. Now that I just said I don't love that foundation, I kind of like it more. Maybe I just didn't like it putting it on in the bathroom where I, where I couldn't see it very well. And now that I'm actually in here in the living room with good light, it looks pretty good. So, just goes to show. Sometimes it's just the lighting. <laughs> Under Eye Concealer. Still going with the Bye Bye Under Eye from IT Cosmetics. Don't need very much. In my, in my last Get Ready With Me, I talked extensively about 
what to do with your concealer that gets all in those creases around your eyes. So if you've got questions about that, check out that Get Ready With Me. I'm gonna go in with a very small concealer brush and apply this concealer primarily to this inside part, not so much where I've got wrinkles. And then I smudge that with my soft concealer brush. Try to keep as much product away from the wrinkles as possible because it's just gonna go in there. By the way, if I tell you to do something like that because it works for me and some big makeup artist, some person who actually knows what they're doing tells you completely opposite, listen to them, not me. I'm just telling you what works for me. I am not a professional makeup artist. I just paint my face. So listen to the actual makeup artists if they have a different opinion. but. Most of us at our age want to go pretty light on the powder. I do tend to go heavy on the powder. I am going to have a two hour drive before I get to my location where they're gonna put me under hot lights and photograph me. And then I've got a two hour drive home. That doesn't really matter what I look like because I'm just going to the gym. Be the fanciest made up person at the gym. Uh, my powder is Tarte Cosmetics Smooth Operator. I like to tap it into the brush and then I like to just tap any excess onto my hand and use that to reload my brush as I need to. But yeah, I do go heavier on the powder than probably most of you will. The only blush that I have here at my boyfriend's is a rosy pink that is matte. It has no sheen to it. And I find that if you can only have one blush, that's a pretty good one. It kind of goes with everything. Not using a whole lot of highlighter lately, but a little kiss of it. It is the Urban Decay Afterglow in Sin. Kind of wish I had another eyeshadow just to show you something different, but I only have my favorite eyeshadow palette down here, my Naked 3, so we're just going to have to make do. I pretty much exclusively use the matte colors, the Limit and the Nooner. Those are my favorites. I find that as I have gotten older, shimmer just doesn't look that great on me, but I like a little bit of it. Just a little, sometimes just on the little, use a little shimmer, sometimes a little bit underneath, but not too much. This is the Limit, the lighter of the two shades.
I am blending challenged. Everyone looks at my videos and goes, oh honey, blend more. And I look at my videos and go, oh honey, I should have blend more. But I just accept that I can't see it when I'm looking at it and so I should blend more. So to that end, I am gonna add a little of this matte whitish tone that is called, I have no idea what it's called because I can't see. But I'm just going to use a little bit of that just to sort of like smooth out that line, a little bit up on top, give it a little extra smudge. I can't actually see what I'm doing, but I assume that I'm doing something. An ancient, ancient, ancient dark brown matte eye pencil. Let's give that a little sharpening just to make sure that it's clean. There we go, that's better. Just a little bit along the lash line on the top. I'm gonna just give that a little smudge. A little thicker there than it is there. Okay, I can see that. A little thicker on this side. Just thicken that up a little. Now we'll give that a little smudge. A little bit of the Nooner, just a teensy bit right, right there. Hi, baby. You're a good doggy, aren't you? Yeah. Kiko is doing much better. Uh, we have him on prednisone, and uh, we get to have him for a bit longer and that is really awesome. So thank you everyone who threw your prayers and positive energy out about Kiko. He does still make that noise a lot. And an extra blending just because we know I'm challenged. Not gonna put anything on the bottom, maybe just a dot of this dark color, right? Just for a little depth. Not sure if that shows or not. Not sure it matters or not. Oh, did I start on you, baby? That was not a gun, I promise. Shiseido Lash Curler. Lash Craft Mascara from Sephora. <laughs> This is a Jordana liner in petal. It's um, really just sort of lip color.
almost all of the lipsticks that I have here at my boyfriend's are the lip scents because they are kiss proof. Um, they are not the best feeling lipsticks in the world, but they're kiss proof and that's why I have them down here because uh, I'm with my boyfriend. Uh, today I'm going to use the Praline Rose and I might add some Goddess to that. I just want to really just want a really natural look. I kind of like the, the color, the pink that the Goddess has, but we're going to start with the browner Praline Rose. And yes, I know Lip Sense salespeople that you offer a liner. Uh, I just don't choose to use it because I find for myself the pencil works a lot better. And if you ever come up with a pencil, love to try it. But lip liner on a brush doesn't work for me. I'm not good at it. Give it a shake. Three coats. And you can mix the coats, which I might do. Yeah, that made it a little too pink on my cheeks, but I'm gonna be driving for a couple of hours before I get to my destination. They are gonna have me under bright lights and this won't look as bright red at my audition as it does right now to you. So. I like how that looks, but I think I want it a little bit pinker. I'm going to try the Goddess. If it's too pink, I'll throw the Praline Rose on over it and beige it out again. beige it out a little bit. Hair is just soft and easy, just a simple blow dry. I tend to, my hair likes to either flip under or flip up, so I prefer to flip it up because otherwise I tend to look a little newscastery. No offense against newscasters, perfectly respect, respectable career, but sometimes you know the hair gets a little teased. Uh, a little bit of gloss, just because it feels better on the Lip Sense. I use the Lip Sense Glossy Gloss. They also have a matte finish, which I enjoy. Uh, and they do have some colors, which I have yet to try other than with my friend Liz, who had one of them. And I thought it was really nice to be able to tweak and manipulate the, oh, this is my earring backer, uh, Magic Backs. I don't know if you can see that, Magic Backs. It's this earring backer for 
As you can see, things in this ear tend to hang low. So by using this back, it holds it up in the right position. I don't use it on this ear because this ear doesn't have that problem. So if you're still looking for stocking stuff or for someone, Magic Backs might be a good one. I'll see if they have it on uh, Amazon. I'll drop the link down below for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Please subscribe to my videos if you haven't already. And I love you bunches.